Hey guys, it's Chris here. Today we'll be reviewing the ASICS Nova Blast 3. Um, these are the trail versions and these have been uh, pretty hyped up this, uh, this shoe and I decided to get the trail version and see how it does on the trails. Um, it's a really good looking shoe. I like the looks of it. One of the coolest looking shoes out there. Pretty excited for these shoes. I took him on a hike today, hike trail run. Um, about 10 kilometers, uh, five, 600 vertical meters up and down, and they did pretty well. I'll tell you what I liked about these and what I didn't like so much. So let's get the review started. The cushioning has been really good with this shoe. I really liked it a lot. Um, we did some running on the asphalt at the beginning where they did really well. The energy return was very good. And on easy trails, uh, it was just a really good shoe to run in. And once we started hiking up, um, I was a little bit worried about the grip because um, they're not as aggressive as some trail running shoes you know you have from, uh, from Salomon or Hoka. Um, so I was worried that the grip might not be too good. Um, but they actually did pretty good. So we had some wet conditions and the grip wasn't bad, I must say. Not too as good as, uh, like, let's say, the Hoka Speedgoat or uh, Salomon, Ultra, Salomon Ultra shoes. Um, but they didn't do bad, not as bad as I thought they would. So you can see here the, um, the profile of the shoe. It it's, has a somewhat aggressive uh, grip, but um, yeah, pretty, did pretty good. I was surprised when on the uphills. It, the shoe felt uh, very comfortable at the beginning. It felt a little bit snug uh, when I first put them on. So I was worried. Um, I have a wide foot actually, and I was worried that these might be too... Uh, uh, too narrow for me but they they ended up uh, being a, a little bit looser when i once i ran in them and um, the fit hasn't been a problem i'm a european size 46 that's about a size 11 and a half or a size 12 uh, in us um, so they were true to size and yeah anyway yeah, really good shoe um, when i was running on the downhills on the flats they did really well as well uh, the energy return was really good um, also when you did some power hiking or walking uh, after the run it, it just felt so comfortable the cushioning was very good and yeah comfortable shoe energy return was really good what's also good with this shoe is that they're very light you know i felt them um, they have a thick stack height but they're st it is still a very light shoe i believe they're a little bit heavier than the road road running shoe i'm not sure how many grams more but uh can't be by much um so yeah pretty light shoe felt really good um, and I believe you can run a lot of miles in them without your legs getting tired. So maybe maybe they're good for, a, for an ultra marathon, you know, if the trails are not too, uh, too technical. Um, but yeah, felt very comfortable, light shoe. And yeah, let's get to the negatives. Anyway, uh, what I noticed on the shoe today is that they're very warm. My feet were extremely warm. I started sweating in them. And um, I don't know if it was just a day today, but um, the conditions were pretty cool here in the mountain. We even had snow on top and um, i don't know how the cooling was on this shoe but um, i felt like the the breathability wasn't too good you know as some shoes i have um, if i would run in the summer in them uh, on a trail or ultra marathon you know they might be a little bit too hot um, but yeah they felt pretty warm today so i don't know how they would be on other days and yeah what else uh, the other thing i noticed is uh, on the shoe is um, the the upper is a little bit aggressive uh, you know when i touch it in the inside i had light blisters on my toes um, because of the upper on top of my toes. So the upper was a little bit aggressive. Um, I noticed that when I started running downhill. Um, otherwise the comfort was, uh, was pretty good on the downhills. Um, what's not too good with this shoe is on the downhills, you know, the stack might be a little bit too high and too bouncy. So they're a little bit unstable if you run on technical terrain. So I would definitely not recommend this shoe if you would want to run on technical terrain and do some technical trails. Uh, it's not what this shoe was meant for. What I also on, um, noticed today while I was running was um, there's also no protection for your toes here on the sides. So I actually did hit my toes uh, once or twice and it hurt. So with other trail shoes, you know, you might have some uh, protection on the sides that help you a little bit when you when you hit some rocks but um, this shoe doesn't have any protection at all anyway yeah so yeah um, on technical trails I would not recommend this shoe you know I was worried about the grip but that was fine uh, it's just that the stack was too uh, too high too bouncy you know um, it is a, a great shoe if uh, the trails are flatter and the ener energy return is really good but um, it comes at a cost and um, for running technical downhills, you get really got to be careful with these. So yeah, uh, if you want to run on light trails and um, you know have a mix in there with uh, running on the asphalt and getting into in some light trails, uh, the shoe is very good. Um, but I I wouldn't take these on uh, on let's say uh, any mountain trails or high high alpine trails. There, it's not just not what they're made for. So 
yeah, but pretty fun shoe. Uh, I expect to do a lot of miles in them, you know, hopefully uh, four or five hundred miles, maybe 800 kilometers. And I can't wait to see how this uh, shoe does on, uh, on the flat road. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of, of this shoe. Uh, would you get the trail version? And if so, uh, where do you run? What kind of trails do you run in them? Um, I, I'll probably take this out on uh, easier trails, you know, some light uh, forest trails but um, not on the mountains anymore. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you liked the review. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe for more content. And anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this shoe. It's a really cool shoe for running and pretty excited about it.